YouTube. I just want to quickly show you the little off-road option for my Dodge, my 89 Dodge Cummins turbo diesel truck I built. Um, if you don't know what a Cummins turbo diesel is, it's just a type of engine in a Dodge. If you don't know what that is, I'd be amazed, literally. That's a type of truck company. And it also makes muscle cars. And some everyday driver cars, but... If you haven't seen the video I uploaded this morning on this truck, uh, you should go check that out. Just go on to my channel and just look for it. Um, well, basically, you should watch that video first. So if you didn't watch that video yet, go watch it now. I mean, seriously, leave this video right now and watch it. Something I did not mention in the last video, I have a little red, white, and blue flag in there. <laughs> Anyway, it's really the only difference that makes this an off-road model for an option is that he, I put huge tires on it, and it's got a push bar. Oh, by the way, guys, I updated that. So basically, it's on studs now, so it won't ever fall off. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, I also changed that to white because it looks better. Um, This is sort of part of the off-road option, but if you want to, you can just leave it on there, even if it's on stock. Uh, you know, the engine, hold on, sorry, uh, uh, hold on, oop, crud, I broke part of it, hold on, sorry, I gotta get off the hood, ooh, okie dokie then, alright, so, really though, the engine is the same, you know, you got the air blower, you've got battery, I might have changed the color of the battery though, it's blue now, and then you got that little slip cheese wedge. Really, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, you can remove the front end, but on the real model you can't. If you do that, you'll basically destroy the car, so I'm, an, I'm warning you people of that. But, uh, thanks for watching my very, very, very awkward video. I mean that, it's kind of weird, but, uh, still, thanks for watching my dumb videos. Mm-hmm.